Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 14th, 2023. Well, yesterday ended up being another day of chop, and surprisingly, the market found a way to try and be a little bit bullish, despite the fact that our inflation numbers were higher. As a matter of fact, the 0.6 increase that we showed in inflation is the highest change in inflation in over a year. And we just chose to say it didn't matter. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, after yesterday's numbers, it was very interesting. We ended up just remaining in chop. If we take a look at our diamond chart, I'm going to go over here to our uh, moving average here for a minute, and you'll want to notice in here that although we're pushing up very bullish in the pre-market here this morning, we are three failures at the 50 day moving average, but we're really not getting gaining any ground to the downside either. Just a little tiny bit lower yesterday on that move. It is a bearish engulfing candle, but notice that they are working to completely reverse that this morning in the pre-market. We'll see if that holds into the open once we start reaching some of these data points. As you can see, we're still narrowing up this um, a wedging pattern in here to decide whether or not we're going to break it to the upside or the downside. And I got to tell you, I think, uh, I think it's a coin toss to decide which way we go, go here in the market. It'll be, uh, driven, uh, basically by the data or, um, the data that we just choose to ignore. Um, let's take a look at, um, um, if the bulls were to um, continue this inspiration here this morning, where are we going to go? Well, first off, I would suggest we have that possibility that we could move up here and we could test just a second. There we go. Uh, we could move up here and we could test these resistance highs in the chart, maybe pushing up into there. If we can push on past that, um, that's going to be breaking that trend here in the chart. Then perhaps we'd come up here and test this level in the chart. If the bears were to continue or find inspiration today, well, the first step we need to do is we need to push down through yesterday's low, which was a little bit lower. And um, whether or not we can um, hold that level or not, then we would push on down into these areas of the chart. If you'll notice in here, there is a good price support level right across yesterday's low. And of course we have that trend in there that could also provide us a little bit of support. Breaking down through here could potentially be um, that situation that really starts to raise a little bit of fear in the market and we would test this level down in here. Let's take a look at our SPY, um, SPY, also finishing the day below its 50 day moving average, but we are suddenly very, very bullish here, gapping up this morning above the 50 day in the pre-market. We'll see if that holds into the open. And you can see um, if the bulls can continue that push, well, maybe a test of these resistance highs that we've had the last couple of days. And breaking through there would tell us that we could probably push right up into this little resistance area. And it's not a real strong resistance area right in here about the center of that wedge um, in the chart. Pushing up through there, I think we come up into this level of the chart and possibly break this downtrend that we've been looking at in here. If the bears were to find inspiration um, in the numbers this morning, then just keep in mind a retest of this low would break that trend and um, probably bring in a little bit of fear if we were to push down here to this next level of price support. So watch that carefully here today. Um, I think anything is possible. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ still winding around in the same area. It was the only index that maintained bullishness 
um, yesterday and you can see pushing up here um, we did at one point in time break our little trend here uh, push down into this price support but we found support there bouncing off and pushing up here as you can see as we seesawed around um, yesterday pushing up into the chart and you can see we've got bullishness trying to gap this a little bit higher this morning so if the bulls continue to push here in the chart let's look for a retest of these resistance levels right in here and um, if they can push on through that area of the chart well I think there's that good chance we come up maybe just a little bit higher maybe testing these um, highs in here um, in the chart and maybe breaking that trend to the upside if we can really get going on some bullishness. If the bears, however, find inspiration here in the chart, well then we do run that risk that we could slip right back down into this support area of the chart that we've bounced off of the last couple of days. Um, notice there's a little trend right here that we've been using as well. Um, as a little bit of support. If we can bounce off of that area of the chart, then we're in good shape. If we fail through that area, I would suggest we're coming down into here. And then the next level, of course, would be down into here. If we look at our IWM, IWM didn't have a good day at all yesterday, but we're, we're trying to reverse it in the overnight here. Um, on IWM pushing back up and you can see we tested our 200 day moving average and close just ever so slightly below it and as I mentioned yesterday if the bears were to continue to push in here what we probably don't want to see is we don't want to see this making a new low because if we make a lower high follow it by a lower low then we have a little bit of concern here in the market um, because that does confirm the IWM downtrend. This morning what we're seeing is that push to the upside. The bulls seem to be willing to uh, shove ahead of these numbers this morning. So watch that closely. If we can break through that resistance there in the chart, then we could start pushing up toward this downtrend, keeping in mind that we are still well below our 50-day moving average. And there is... That's not a bullish chart in, in any way, shape, or form. Um, the fact that we could hold on to this uh, price support area in the chart, that's important um, and could really start sending us back to the upside if we can confirm maybe some higher lows in IWM. If we take a look at our um, VIX, very interesting yesterday on the VIX where the majority of our indexes were closing lower only the QQQ was going higher and even in the QQQ it was a very select few that were moving up we had a bearish engulfing um, moving down here in the VIX there was no fear whatsoever very odd market right now um, so much complacency in here it's truly remarkable but looking um, at this chart if the bulls can continue to push and they are this morning then we could be right back down here maybe pushing through this level if the data is good showing that there is no fear and we just want to go up despite the inflation despite the numbers that are out there doesn't seem to matter now looking across here if the bears were to find inspiration here here today and push back through breaking that downtrend breaking through this resistance in here could be significant so keep an eye on that and I certainly can't rule out the possibility that we could absolutely reverse here before the market opens let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 kind of shows us what was going on yesterday in the market we were pulling back um, at the high point we were near about 50% uh, um, up here in T2122 and then we pulled it all back and you can see um, if the bears were to uh, continue to engage today and there certainly is nothing in the pre-market that says they're going to but if they were to engage today then pushing down into this area certainly does seem to be a possibility we'll want to be watching that closely and if the bulls find inspiration or continue to find inspiration we have certainly opened a significant upside opportunity if there's good news in those numbers today let's take a look at our 
T2108 and you can see that yesterday it was just a um, a chop fest um, we did push down in T2108 um, as you can see uh, the percentage of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average ended the day at 2898 so about 29 percent of the stocks and you can also see that we didn't break this support so we have that situation where we're resting right there on support. So if the bulls can continue to uh, push to the upside like they're showing here in the pre-market, well, maybe we start testing some of these resistance levels and pushing back up here in T2108. Of course, if the bears um, uh, get their way and start pushing, then we would possibly drop into there. And that could be a fairly painful one because you can see the next support levels are down here in the chart. If we take a look at uh, T2107, T2107 continues to show us that head and shoulders pattern here in the chart, but we're certainly not breaking down. As you can see yesterday, we did push lower. So the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average slipped a little bit. We're about 44% of the stocks. But the good news is, once again, we didn't break that support. So as long as we can hold this support area in the chart and the bulls keep pushing this morning, maybe we can push right on up and start testing some of these resistance levels um, also in the chart. So keep an eye on that. And then T2101, this is really um, kind of the culprit here. T2101, we're continuing to see the market breadth fade. So when we look at these gyrations of back and forth, what we can really look at this and say is can't really trust these moves as being um, something that can get follow through because we've got no breadth here in the market. The breadth continues to draw back. It's just very, very choppy. And that's why I really don't even have confidence that this pre-market pop right now, Dow futures are up uh, 99 points. Um, I can't even really trust that that's going to hold in to the open. Um, and maybe it gets, maybe we double that. Um, or maybe we take it all away before the open this morning, the way the market has been acting. That low breadth. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar, we do have... Uh, quite a bit here to deal with this morning. We're going to be dealing with jobless claims, and we know that's been problematic for us. Um, consensus ex is expecting that jobless claim to uh, move higher, um, but they have expected that the last two weeks in a row, and it's actually come in stronger than expected. So watch that carefully here. Um, right now, our um, um, initial claims are at a negative 13,000. Um, we need to probably for the Fed to start seeing that jobs market um, uh, finding some problems to make the Fed happy. So watch that closely. Uh, then we're going to get the PPI. Now PPI is also expected if we look at the consensus numbers, it is ex expected to move up on a month over month basis and even on the year over year basis. Um, what we focused on yesterday was the core number that was just slightly higher. But watch, watch that closely. Um, when energy prices are higher and labor costs are going up, that feeds into the producer prices. So I think one of the numbers that may have the bigger chance of being a problem for us is going to be this PPI number. Could be wrong, but watch that closely here this morning. And then we've got retail sales. Retail sales are expected to decline uh, from 0.7 on month over month to 0.2. Um, X vehicles from 1.0 to 0.4, and as you can see, X vehicles and gas 1.0 to 0.1. Fairly sig significant decline in our retail sales, which would be, I would think, um, be a bit on the bearish side for the market, but. Uh, we're trying to put the look on this morning that we don't care. 
Um, then we're going to have business inventories. Business inventories are expected to increase just ever so slightly. We've got um, a natural gas bond auctions and the Fed balance sheet here later on the day. And if that's not enough to kind of give us heartburn here in the market, we're going to turn right over into Friday morning, Empire State, import, export prices, industrial production, consumer sentiment. And then just keep in mind, we're going to be moving into next week in an FOMC decision uh, coming up on uh, Wednesday of next week. So we're not out of the woods yet here. And um, Unfortunately, we don't have much going on to um, to change that unless these numbers really start to produce something bullish or bearish. Okay, now on to those um, that earnings calendar for today, and we do have a few things that we want to be paying attention to here today. That's a, it's a very small list. But the most notable for today is going to be ADBE. Adobe will be reporting um, after the bell today. So keep an eye on Adobe. Um, what we hope is Adobe, um, if you're a bull anyway, that Adobe produces a little bit better than what Oracle did. Um, or <laughs> Adobe's holding in a nice bullish pattern here in the chart. We'll be reporting after the bell. Watch that closely. Um, despite the fact that um, Oracle mentioned AI about 150 times, just didn't improve their situation. Um, we'll see if Adobe can um, prove to do a better job here. And then um, we're going to hear from Lennar. This could be really important as well. We've been seeing those housing prices go up. Certainly we've been seeing those mortgages um, really move lower. Um, uh, mortgage applications came in yesterday um, all the way down to a 1996 level in uh, mortgages. So watch that carefully. Um, uh, obviously the higher rates could affect this. Um, Lennar um, later on today so watch that one and then we will be hearing from uh, KFY that's really about the only other notable for today obviously downtrending pushing back down towards some of these lows breaking the trend so this could be a very very important earnings report for KFY uh, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but if before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me that favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find that video to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and also click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. There are quite a few folks that watch the video that don't respond, um, and I understand it gets a monotonous day after day after day, but I truly appreciate the support and the effort that it takes to put these out every single day as well. So thank you so much to everyone who does um, support the channel. I do truly appreciate it. And let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market um, because anything is possible here by the open. We could gap up dramatically. We could gap down dramatically depending on how this data comes out. So um, just be really, really careful on how you um, jump into this market. We could see like the last two or three days some pretty big point whipsaws in the market as well. So be prepared for just about anything. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. First off, I wanted to uh, mention Visa. Um, I was talking about Visa and that possibility it could take off to the upside. Well, we're getting a gap down here this morning on Visa, coming back into um, some support levels in the chart. Now, if we can bounce right back up off of that, we're probably okay. But watch that one closely. We might be losing some ground here, a little shooting star up here uh, failing into um, that uh, trend and support so watch that closely if it can't hold here and breaks down then we might be uh, looking to the other side here in the visa chart take a look at AT&T now AT&T 
um, certainly a beat up stock. Oh my goodness, very, very beat up stock. Um, been moving down for a long time in this chart. And as you can see, uh, starting to pick back up, I've got a tr um, an alert on this chart. And you can see that we're holding on to this trend. We slipped a little bit last couple of days in here, but we came back yesterday pushing back up. We're winding out here toward um, the trend. I'd be watching for that next opportunity, particularly if you um, want to just buy a stock and hold it for a little while with a really strong dividend yield might be something to be keeping an eye on. Um, looking pretty darn good at the moment. Take a look at Rivian. Um, Rivian continues to hold in there. As a matter of fact, I had an alert on this chart and this thing popped through that alert and then faded back. I actually didn't buy it because I just don't like the market condition right now. It's too uncertain. But watching this chart, this nice little consolidating area here, if we can get some bullishness going in the market, that could certainly push on up, creating that upside trend here in Rivian. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. And uh, you guys know I've been mentioning this Tilray. Now Tilray, um, a lot of volatility in it. I kind of suspect this is going to continue to rest here just a little bit in this support area. But rest back into this trend and I'll be looking for that next opportunity in here. Now this is a little cheapy guy and not something that I would, you know, really be, um, all that excited about about just buying up a whole bunch of it but what I do like here is the fact that the company um, has picked up a bunch of new brands from Anheuser-Busch and that really changes the dynamic of the company so pushing this up here in this chart you can see breaking that downtrend we still have some nice upside opportunity in here and this could be building for a pretty substantial move that could last for some time just imagine if Telray were to come back here's our high point in here um, of Telray if it just comes back halfway um, boy, that would be a big winner. So it might be something you might want to start nibbling into, picking up a few shares, watching that to see if it can push on higher. Um, let's take a look at some of the other stocks out here just doing extremely well. I continue to talk about CCJ. This was my last alert here on CCJ, and we're just continuing to run here in the uranium sector of the market. Very, very strong, even with the dollar being as strong as it is boy we're just ripping to the upside and I would I would suggest this needs a rest or pullback now I wouldn't want to be chasing into this some kind of consolidation rest or pullback into the trend then look for your next opportunity and you can look at other whoops other areas of uranium here really strong move yesterday in UUUU popping through some of these resistance levels in the chart. Let's push this up. Popping through those, so any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. URA also just ripping to the upside here. Um, quite the move going on in Uranium. Keep a close eye on that. Again, I think this is a little stretch, probably needs a rest or pullback, so I would wait for that next opportunity in that trade. Um, you might wanna take a look at um, some of these stocks like AMD has been running in this trend here uh, or in this channel. And even though we broke down through the support yesterday, we tried to come back up and place a little bit of higher low in here, challenging this downtrend. So if that can break through and hold, then AMD may be back on the buy side of the market. Keep a close eye on that. And then of course, uh, Google. Uh, Google had a great day yesterday, pushing back up near trend on support. Very expensive stock when it comes to the P.E. ratio, but we don't seem to care much about that anymore. Watch that carefully here. If that pops out, we could be seeking new highs here in Google. And NVIDIA is another one that bounced up nicely here. It had broken this support here in the chart bounced up nicely pushing back up so make that get up there and hold and prove and there may be some more upside here in nvidia even though the pe ratio on this is ridiculous um, at the moment so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here be very very careful here in the market um, tomorrow we could hear about it 
<clears throat> a full-on UAW strike that is going to be uh, likely impactful to the market. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got a budget battle that is coming up here um, that could shut down the government um, by early October. So uh, we've got a lot of things on our plate. And then remember, we've got an FOMC meeting next week. A lot of things on our plate. There's a reason for this uncertainty and choppiness. So just be kind of careful and cautious. Don't overtrade this market. With that, have an awesome day. Wish you great success. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.